In July, Governor Gavin Newsom said elementary schools and their districts could request a waiver to reopen even if their county is on the state's monitoring list for high COVID case counts. So far, the San Diego Health and Human Services Agency has received 48 requests. 44 of them are from private schools. Among them are some of the priciest schools in the county that have the resources to offer extensive health safety measures. So we're going to test every student, every faculty member, every staff member before they come onto campus. Gary Cron is the head of school at La Jolla Country Day School, which serves more than 1,100 students. He said even if the county approves the request waiver, the school might wait to reopen. Even though we, we might have the opportunity to open, we're going to look at where this disease is in our community and we're going to look at uh, the information we have at that time. Cron said La Jolla Country Day has a robust reopening plan in place for when students are allowed to come back. It will offer hybrid programs that would allow some students and teachers to work from home. And students who do come to campus will not spend much time indoors. We're not allowing any student or faculty to be inside for over 25 to 30 minutes. So half of our classes are going to be outside. So we have spent a lot of resources creating outdoor classrooms and then creating the ventilation inside. However, with a tuition of about $30,000, La Jolla Country Day is among few schools able to provide such opportunities. This raises questions about inequities in education, which have been exacerbated by the COVID school closures. Students from low-income families and students of color are more likely to experience learning loss, and their families are more likely to suffer the economic consequences of the pandemic. These are really complicated times, of course. And I think Alicia smith Ariaga is the executive director of the Education Trust West, a think tank studying equity in education. She doesn't blame private schools for being able to provide more for their students than public schools, but she said the federal government needs to step up and help mitigate the inequities. And so um, being able to have a waiver for students that age in and of itself, you know, if it meets public health guidelines, is not problematic. But what does get problematic are the resources associated with actually being able to implement it and what schools can do that and which schools cannot. That said, Smith Ariaga is hopeful that schools that can reopen sooner will share best practices for safe reopening. Cron said La Jolla Country Day School is more than willing to help. He points to the school's partnership with Rady's Children's Hospital to provide researchers with routine testing data from their asymptomatic faculty and staff. If we fulfill our responsibility to move a little ahead, to be in, in front of the curve, and then share that with other schools and be a resource to them, so that we can create policies that are transferable to other schools, then, then we're playing an important role in our community. Joe Hong, KPBS News.